This vial that I'm looking at contains uh, an owl fly, and it's one of 22,132 vials that containing arthropods here in the University of Arkansas Arthropod Museum. That's housed in the entomology department. How do I know we have that many? We just finished a count in which we did a bio blitz to count all of the species and all of the specimens in the arthropod museum. Out of the 750,000 specimens in this arthropod museum, this is just one of them. This is a wood wasp that develops as a larva in hardwoods, and so people only see it for about five to seven days out of the entire year. And what looks like a stinger is actually what the females use to lay eggs under the bark of wood. Most bioblitzes occur in parks or nature preserves where the objective is to count all of the species in a 24-hour period, and that's in that defined area. We did our bioblitz in the defined area of the Arthropod Museum, but our bioblitz took four days, and it took 26 people more than 150 hours to count all of the specimens and all the species contained in all the cabinets here in the museum. That's how we know we have 22,132 vials. In addition, we counted more than 400,000 pin specimens of insects. Most of them came from Arkansas, largely from the interior highlands, which is the Ozark Mountains and the Washita Mountains. And uh, the largest proportion of our collection that we found was made up of beetles. Over half of the pin specimens and a third of the pin species uh, was made up of beetles. The main reason we have so many beetles, in addition to beetles being so numerous and diverse, is one of our previous curators was a beetle specialist, and so he concentrated his collection on those. These gorgeous metallic flies are acrocerids, or small-headed flies. This particular species, uh, Neolasia purpurea, parasitizes tarantulas. Uh, they're native only to the Ozark Highlands, uh, so parts of Missouri and northern Arkansas. These particular specimens were collected in and around Fayetteville. Uh, many of the, the species that these are related to are very small, uh, less than a quarter of this size, so these are the beasts of the small-headed fly family. This museum is a little different than what you might normally think of a, a showy museum with big displays. Uh, this is a research museum, and so all of these vials and pin specimens help us to be able to identify insects that are found uh, by citizens throughout the state, or when researchers from around the world contact us in order to study the organism that they're working on, and it may be found here in our collection.